Hi, um, John here. Today, I'll just check to see if it's going. Oh, yeah, it's going. Recording, recording. Um, hi, today is uh, Saturday, the 17th, 19th of August 2017. Um, I just want to show you my dinner. I got a very nice dinner here. We've got spinach, raw spinach, we've got Indian curry potatoes, beans and carrots and potatoes and we've got on this side we've got cheese, nice soft cheese, very nice soft cheese and then we've got raw garlic here, all goodies and on this side we've got the white sauce, cauliflower, pork, pork, my roast pork, and uh, we've got ginger in there, some of the stuff in there as well. It's got a strong taste in the mix. And so we've got cheese, nice cheese here, and uh, that's my dinner. And my friend, the Indian guy, gave me some curry potato okay so that's how um, my diet has changed and I've got crushed garlic crushed ginger crushed ginger this is making me strong and healthy and crushed garlic crushed garlic these all the goodies and then we've got some chilies, and then we've got rosemary, rosemary, and then we've got herbs, herbs, Italian herbs here. So these are in my mix of foods and turmeric, turmeric powder, turmeric. So, and nice soft cheese. It's very soft, very, very soft. The cheese is pliable. See how it bends? We know. Mmm. Tastes nice. Then we've got garlic. I love raw garlic, raw spinach. But I polish that one off, spirulina. Okay, then we've got Swiss odorless high strength wild fish oil from Australia. There, in quite big um, capsules. There, send you to space. That's good for your heart. This is for the people who are wanting want something good for their heart. Okay, so that's that. This is my new regime. And to top it off, I have the big spirulina. This is $5.50 uh, or something, $5.56 for a bottle of that. And I'll tell you what, it tastes sensational. And to top it off, homegrown lemon, honey, ginger. Right there. And that tastes magnificent. Mm -mm. I really thought it was going to be better, but the honey looks that up. And that's my dinner. There was nothing else to show. I think that the killer, oh, here's the cider. Here's the cider, apple cider. But I'd rather drink it from that than to mix it all up. I like internet food and quick internet food and lemons, lemon, lemon, cider, lemon, cider and ginger, 
Gentile. That's the score. And garlic. Boom. Mix those up in the brew. And it will send you to heaven very quickly if you put too much in. So, and a good measure of sushi, seaweed, sushi. And you've got um, so all the goodies. You've got um, wakame. Wakame, Jap Japanese wakame. Japanese wakame. Look. These are all the good stuff. When I went to Japan, this is all I was eating. Seaweed. Seaweed. Okay? I'm going back on. And this, this one. Some more Japanese food. I can't read it. This is Japanese. See? Alright? That. This is the one. This is the magnesium that I got from um, the power clinic in Illustrate. It's it's good stuff, but I think it did more damage to put my heart right right up it went right over 200 with that too uh, too much i think i've got enough in me i'm not deficient on mag magnesium i have it in my muscle i just had muscles for dinner or oh, entree raw muscles and i think there's enough magnesium in the food i'm eating uh to, to have too much and it really sent me haywire that's why i grabbed my medication and had to go back on on that this is emergency see now i've cut it see i had to i had to go one two three four five six seven eight days on this to pull me out of what this stuff here um did the damage and it really rocked my head and made my ears ring like hell. Now, now this food and this stuff should bring my heart rate down. See, 68, that's not bad. If I'm sitting down, it goes down to 60, and that's going back to normal. What I did today in the, in the gym would blow your socks off in the swimming pool with, the, with, the, with my kit set. Yeah, my kit set. Okay, that's my, my flippers and my goggles and my snorkel in there, my dive set that I go up and down the pool in and spinning the water with my legs. So this is what I did today in the um, gym. Now that I'm back on track, I'm, I'm back to normal and I started out, I can't see properly. I, I, I'll put the light around. That way. Oh, that's better. That's better. I'll take all my goodies out of the way. Okay, that's better. Now, today I started at 12, 10, 10 past 12, midday. I started a bit late because I was doing some work on our court hearing case in Auckland. And I'm getting all that together, the magistrate court and the, um, um, the cabinet files to run a magistrate court, live magistrate, okay? I need my brain to be bang on with nothing in it. I'll go on Monday to Maggie and she'll suck some more blood out of my head. It went sticky black again after this magnesium had gone. It was, it was liquidy before. It was starting to come right and then when the magnesium went in, it came out all sticky. I've got a video on YouTube showing you just what it looks like and dark, black, dark. Not as black now. Because it's been at least um, three months, I think, uh, four months I've been on acupuncture and cupping, bloodletting. That's taking blood out of my head, my back, right down the back, and getting rid of the toxins. And what I do with this stuff here will get rid of the toxins as well on top. I'm determined to flush the whole lot. And that's what happened the last four days. 
I've been going through hell. Um, and I was really on top of the world just like how I am today, spot on, and strong on the legs, strong on the legs. And you can see my legs are red, right? The blood going flying around. I'll, show, I'll put the camera on and after, but there's better circulation right through my legs. And I'll tell you what, them legs were pumping the iron today. So this is my readings. I, I, I got at the best of 12 machines, 12 of the machines that pull the power uh, out of the legs and the arms and the back. Um, <clears throat> I start on the bench, bench press, my Fitbit here, which gives just the pulse, but it's an indication I can tell what my blood pressure is from what I've been putting up against the doctor's blood pressure readings. I'm waiting for a blood pressure digital one that fits on my arm and I can read it any time and take the readings and write them all down as well. Uh, but um, So I did 10 lots of 10 lifts with 40 kgs uh, on the uh, bench press. Um, what have I got here? <clears throat> My Fitbit was 74 and these are the readings of 10, 10 lots of 10 lifts and every time I did 10 lifts I took a reading on my Fitbit, that's just the pulse. And these are the readings and that's 100 lifts with one after the other and that took 15 minutes. I did 100 lifts with 40 kgs with these little arms 100 times. Um, so here we go. My first reading was 78, then 73, then it dropped to 60, then it dropped further to 56, then to 60, 78, 89, 73, 65, 65. So that's a fair walk going for 15 minutes solid, lifting that up, lying down up like that for 15 minutes. Okay, so that was the first one machine. Number two machine was the leg press with 200 kgs. Five on the side, five on the side of 20 kgs each. 100 on the side, 100 on the side on these legs. Right, on these red legs. Okay. And these are the readings. I started off at 12.30 and I finished off at 12.40. It took me 10 minutes to push 200 kgs on two of these legs. It took 10 minutes. A minute each 10 pushes of the leg. 10 pushes is one minute. Okay, so these are my readings on my Fitbit here. <clears throat> I started at 77, then went into the lift. The first lift of 10, 10 pushes, 75, 82, 70, 89, 85, 94, 107, 85, 104, 101. So that's 10 lots of readings I took each time. I do that all the time. That's number two. And I wrote, I had no problems, 10 minutes to do that. That's really, no one does that. I've never seen anybody do that yet. It's too much on your ankles. And my little legs took it. Third machine, rowing. 12.50. I started on that. And I did 1.924 kilometers. <coughs> um, Eighty-six watts. That's what it came out to. So that was pretty good. And then the third, third. Oh, hang on. No, that's that's the third one. That's the third one. 
and that went to one five minutes past one. I had a little rest, short little rest. My legs are stiff. It shows that I got still got water in my legs. I'm drinking too much water. Um, high low. The high low is where I put the whole, I think it's about 120 kgs on my stomach and 120 kgs on my arms. So I'm pulling that way, pulling that way, and then pull that way with my stomach on the 120 kgs on the back lock, all of them, all of them. Because that's the one you pull down like this and pull up like this. That's the high low, high low. So I put the bar there to pull this way, to lift all that weight over there, 120 kgs or so, there. And at the back of me, 120 kgs on my stomach muscles. So I'm pulling that way and that way. So I've done at least um, 15 minutes on that. 15 minutes on that. My Fitbit was reading a 100. It started off at 101. Well, that's just walking from one machine to that one. And usually when I walk around, it goes right up, puffing. Well, I didn't puff today. I didn't puff today. And that's the fourth exercise machine. The fifth one, the fifth one is the cycle. 125 p.m. I start, Fitbit 100. Um, my heart rate on that machine, on the cycle, was 129. Not bad, not bad. And I did 46 calories, 1.6 kilometers, on a 30 load. That's 30. That's really loading up the legs. So that's normally they put it on 10 or 12, not not 30. I put it really on 30 and I'm pedaling quite hard going up a hill. Um, I did 1.6 kilometers, 30 load, 10 minutes, no trouble. Still, the calves, are, the calves on my legs are stiff. Okay. Right, that's that one. That's number five, cycle. Number six. We're going to number six is... Oh, what's that machine? Number six, I don't even know what number six is. Calories, 106 calories. I think that's... 0.81 kilometers, heart rate 144. I think that's the um, elliptical. No, not that's not the elliptical. Um, that's another machine I did. Treadmill. Oh, that's the treadmill. Oh, sorry, that's the treadmill. Treadmill started at 145. Um, my Fitbit was 80, no, 90. That's the treadmill. This, this, I did 106 calories on the treadmill. I did one point, I did 0.81 kilometers. My heart rate on the cardio machine on the treadmill was 144. That was really working. And I had a load of I had a full load on the treadmill that's 15 degrees, right up like that. And <clears throat> my Fitbit was 89 average. I did okay on that, finished at 1.50 p.m. off. Uh, I've got 30 load on there, 30, 30 load on the treadmill. I put the load right up. I think that's what that is. Now, that's number six. Number seven is the elliptical. Uh, I had a small little rest, about three, four minutes, 2 p.m. Uh, my Fitbit read 94. 
and at the end of that exercise on the elliptical, <coughs> the elliptical is, is your, your legs are going backwards and forwards like that, and you're pulling the things like that. That's the elliptical. Um, Fitbit 94 at the start, and I did 90, 92. What's 92? Calories, I think, yeah. Uh, 0.8 kilometers. Uh, the heart rate on the cardio was reading 144. And I did a 30 load for 10 minutes. 30 load. That's, that's really hard. I did that on a cycle on a 30 load do as well. And um, my legs are okay. Not sick. Still more power in my legs. There you go. I was really on my game today. Right, number eight, independent chest press. Fitbit start 84. Time 2.20 p.m. I'm pushing 88.4 kgs 100 times. So every 10 independent press, every time I did that, it's pushing on here, pushing on here, um, independent chest press. Uh, my Fitbit started 84 and I had the weight of 88.4 kgs in 10 times 10, that's 100 times, and here's the readings of my Fitbit. Up she goes, 92, 80, 76, 82, 80, 79, 105, 94, 91, 88. So you can see the difference in the Fitbit, the pulse is going higher in that machine. Okay, so 230 off that machine, then now onto the independent lat pull down. You pull down that way. And on that, I uh, started with the Fitbit at 104. 2.35 p.m. <clears throat> We're pushing 110 kgs. That's on this pulling down by that. 110 kgs. Um, 100 times. 100 times. 10 times each one. Then here's the readings for that. My Fitbit. 93. Oh, I stepped it up. I stepped it up to 110.5 kgs. That's right. Well, 110.5 kgs on pulling down like that. 93. Here's the Fitbit reading. 93, 97, 100, 100, 89, 101, 105, 109, 103, 101. So you can see that was taking a lot of power to pull that down, 110. I still think that um, high-low machine is, is more than 120 kgs because it's got all those weights to hold on. They're all stacked up like that. And I'm pulling the whole lot. I'm, I've got to find out exactly how much. It says 200 pounds, but I think it's, it's more like 150 kgs. It's sure is heavy. Um, okay, that's number nine exercise. Number ten exercise is the mid row, mid row, mid row machine. Start at three fifty. Fitbit eighty nine. Start. Here's the readings for that. A hundred times on that. A hundred times on that. So now we're at 3.55 p.m. <clears throat> Fitbit start 89, 85, 82, 81, 80, 80, 94, 97, 94, 87, 84. <clears throat> so there, we've still got more power left to do more. That's what I wrote. Uh, 3.05 p.m. 3.05 p.m. Oh, that was 
15 p.m. before. <coughs> no, that's wrong. 3.05 3 p.m. That, that's the time then. <coughs> then 3.10 p.m. I'm on to the 11th machine. <coughs> uh, Fitbit 97. What's this one? 88.4 kgs, 100 times. Uh, that was another machine pulling this way, this way, pulling that way. I, I haven't got the name of it. Uh, so here's the readings for that. I was pulling 88.4 kgs, 10 by 10 equals 100. 92, 98, finish 3.20. 10 minutes it took to do that machine. That's a lot of weight. And the Strider last. The Strider's last. That's that's the one that you like rollerblading like that. Okay. So that one was started on 3.25 p.m. Fitbit 77. 110 calories. Um, distance, I didn't get the distance. Um, Fitbit average 113. Uh, distance was 78 something per minute. Um, grams per minute or something. I think that's um, a, a forgotten because the machine went off and I had to remember what it was. But that's number 12 exercise. That That's a real hard one. It's hard on your hips because you're going like that. Like that. Flat out. You have to go fast to make it work. Okay, so we finished at 35 p.m. Uh, and then into the pool. So that's a lot of work I did today and I'm still feeling right on top of the world and my legs. I'm happy with my legs, although they're a bit stiff, but they'll settle down. They'll settle down once I keep drinking this stuff. Lemon, honey, ginger, raw apple juice, 100% raw apple juice with lemon, honey and ginger. Perfect. Perfect. About 5.56 for that. <coughs> and this one, spirulina. Beautiful. Oh my, dinner's gone cold. No, I, that's right. <coughs> um, I just wanted to get this video on just to show you how I went today. Then the swimming pool, I uh, swam 20 laps. That's going back and forth. The first one I did, the first one I did full length under the water, one breath right through to the other end. And I didn't attempt to do any more of those um, and just carried on swimming um, with my head under the water and the snorkel up and also on my back, backstroke as well. So that that was good. Then the spa pool afterwards. I don't like to go in the sauna, I just go in the spa pool and ease up on the muscles. So that was my day today. I'm happy to say I'm back on track again. I don't want to go sick again like I did last week for a whole eight days on that medication. I had no choice because my reading was, when the nurse came, it was 190 over 120. And that's a hospital case. Um, and now it's right down. When she came and took the reading, it was... Her reading was 144 over 88 and a pulse of 57. When I went to my doctor, the blood pressure was 157 over 85. And they were happy with that and the pulse was 63. Still a little higher than what the nurse's was. And so that gives you an indication that my nurse readings 144 over 88 she's coming back on monday to take another reading minus the 
um, medication, but on this stuff I'm taking now and my diet of um, foods, raw, raw, raw veggies and um, raw garlic, raw garlic, raw spinach is good for your heart and raw, um, no that's it, and just bits of meat and other goodies. I've got bacon in there, I love my bacon and egg, a little bit of egg, not too much, but the lemon. The lemon is in here, and I've got lemons over there to make the brew, but I was making my my potion a bit too much in the glass, it was just too much, and that's what made me sick having that in the pills. Medication stuffed me up and made me really, really worse. So that's all I want to say, really. Uh, one more thing I wanted to say for the um, hui up north, the uh, Ngāpui, uh, the Whakaminiga. Uh, I'm passionate about the 1835 Declaration of Independence, Whakaminiga, and the Whakaputanga flag, the 1835 flag, um, is all that history is here. The whole thing with it, and Mori Manukau, here, that's his Whakapapa, and ours, the Rogans and the Manukaus, with Rogan judges that put these titles together in the magistrate courts. Okay, so that's in there. And also the um, books, all the books like this one I've put together. I've, put to, I've bound up all the documents with all the titles and everything that is going into the magistrate court in Auckland in the native Moai Crown, native magistrate grand jury court. Okay, so all these documents. I'm making a short file for the uh, Paramount Chiefs and they will have a condensed copy of the um, Whakameninga in its original state <coughs> um, I was trying to find the book never mind all my documents here to put everything together. You see this book here? That book there is all that I put together in Te Unga Waka Marae in Auckland and had it signed and notarised and then went up to Waitangi and they signed this book and all the other books they signed on the Marae, Titi Marae, and we even got the oath of allegiance and the crown in parliament here, the government, in this book that I'm taking them to court. I'm taking John Key <coughs> to court, in our court, as an authority with this flag, the 1834 Whakameninga, a separate contract with the King from the 1835-1840 Te Tiriti o Waitangi 1840 is the Queen's contract separate Whakameninga from this well this is the Whakameninga this is the Whakameninga because that was created from um, the 13 chiefs of Ngāpui, no one else the Hauraki comes into the 1835-1840 Te Tiriti, altered this, then into their contract. That's corrupted. The Maori Land Court corrupted this king's title. This is still fixed in statute law and extant forevermore inside Westminster Court and Westminster Parliament. Our jurisdictions come from Westminster Magistrate Court and also Edinburgh Magistrate Court where Te Rawaikato Wharahirehire Manukau sold this country of New Zealand to King William IV, Crown Corporation, Crown Land 
patents was created in Edinburgh between Lieutenant William Simons, 23rd Regiment of the Royal British Navy in Scotland, and Te Waikato Wharehere Manukau, the only signatory in that private contract of Admiralty with that Lieutenant. So from then on, the President case was set right through the well in magistrate courts. That's why the biggest criminal court cases go into the magistrate court, not the High Court, because the High Court does not have jurisdiction of a king and his admiralty to form the original native titles right through the well. It's this flag only. It's come out of King George IV and Te Rawaikato, Whare Here Here Manukau, the native of Rekohu country, or Rekohu Island, Chatham Islands, its name, was a country closest to Aotea New Zealand. In fact, they owned this country. And then the Cook Islanders were frequenting here at the same time. And they are up in Te Hapua with Paramount Chief Bundy, Waitai, and Manahi Parapara Mahini, Moriori. He's the Moriori. And for the Manukau, Mahini, and Parapara. The oldest names in this country. <coughs> right here in the documents. And Bundy, Waitai, for Cook Island, the closest Cook Islands to here, not the Rarotonga, the Cook Islands, Aitutaki, and the Outer Islands, they were frequenting here. That's why they are up there in Te Hapua, Spirits Bay, and also in Waiapu, um county area of the province of Auckland, at East Cape on our Uetaha, Moai, Wanoa land blocks. I can talk for myself. Others can talk for their own land blocks. Thank you very much. The Rogans married the Wanoas there, and the Rogans, judges, married the Manukau's. And that's how these two families have got that title. Sona in Edinburgh, Magistrate Court, and Westminster Magistrate Court, period. It's locked to those two kings. King William III created the eight-point star on this flag of St. Patrick's municipalities to collect the rent for the conquered king's lands. <coughs> right through the well. And King William IV came after that and commercialised it. He put the power note to work from New York Stock Exchange that he created in his 50 years in the Navy and everything's Navy magistrate from one country to the other. The Christians asked, well, how did they handle big cases over a million and a trillion and a billion value? No one can do that, only a magistrate court because they created all the laws of banks. This is a bank flag of commerce. This is a commerce flag of the king's royal revenue and the king's conquered lands and prized possessions. The queen, on the other hand, is just an administrator. I'm going to sack her because I'm a contractor to the king as surrogate king to speak for the king because no one is speaking on this level. And that's what we're having this court case in Auckland on the 29th of September 2017 at 3 p.m. in a marae in Auckland. I've yet to book a marae. It can be any marae. A magistrate court is the man himself and the bag or a briefcase with the files in it.
not all these files, but condensed. And they have, the main part is, it has the magistrate court's law and rules in it. It has the Acts of Westminster Parliament from King George IV period <coughs> and King William III period, 1650 to 1701 period of King William III for this eight-point star. Now you'll see that John Key is mischievous to wear the eight-point star and cannot prove where he gets his authority from for wearing it. We're going to put him on the court. He's the first up on the court to explain that he's got to turn up. If he doesn't turn up in silence, he's not immune from Parliament. He's not immune from the new job he's got in the um, airline department in, in Australia. He's not immune from the bank, Panama Papers. These are all the allegations are made against you, John Key. I've got you in a box. You can't take it off because the magistrate court have got their eye on they are our partners, our legal partners, in this court hearing in Auckland, in our court. Now, I'm looking at the set of rules that high courts or any court, district courts, I can go and hire the court at midnight and run my cases at midnight, any time from midnight to daytime hours. So, that's on the cards. But... In any case, the Marae is the highest court on the land under this flag in this jurisdiction. Now I'm saying to uh, Te Porohau, Luka, the Kokako, do not mix jurisdictions of your Whakaminiā, 1835, Declaration of Independence flag. It has no legal authority. It's been wiped out and extinguished by this government in Wellington, the New Zealand Company, corporation, private company. They got rid of it and put their 1840 treaty there. That's fraud as well. I'm showing it up in the court. I'm showing up how they fabricated the Manukau's title in Edinburgh, then changed the names of Reva, Reva, Reva Manukau, and Hongiga, put Reva there. His real name is Refa Refa Manakau, the ancestor, Tira Waikato's descendant, direct. He took over and controlled the Marais. He was jumping from one Marais to the other. I got it all recorded for Mohi Manakau. Before he died, he left everything with me to take his legacy in his Freemason side of the... <coughs> 50 years he had in Freemasons in Helensville, Awaroa, Native Magistrate Court, and that formed the new Auckland province, right to the East Cape on the Whakawhitira Native Magistrate Court. And Captain James Reddy Clendon linked that Magistrate Court, Native Magistrate Court, to the Awaroa Magistrate Court in Helensville, where Mohi Manukau worked with his grandfather, John Rogan, and linked to, this is what um, Captain James Reddy Clendon did as a magistrate, a man is a magistrate, with his box in his filing cabinet that he carries around portable court. That's a magistrate. He's on his two legs. And he travelled around, up back up to Okiato, Native Magistrate Court in Kororareka, Russell Bay of Islands. Okay, so those are the three magistrate courts of this country jurisdiction that I'm working in under the Moai Crown, King William IV Trust. Okay, that trust is a creditor. It is the creditor against you, John Key. You liable, the Queen, you liable. All the corporate crown agents in this country, and the Pacific Islands, and the world for that matter, with the Panama Papers, wherever the Panama Papers went, we're putting you into court, we put the figure on it, a billion trillion pound note on your head, here, over this country. That's just that.
that's not anything else. There's a trillion pounds on each one's head. Yours is higher than everybody else's. But everyone, all those police that arrested me, in this house, you're liable. I warned you, I warned Natalie Flower Dew Brown, CIB, police detective, don't touch my documents or me. She ripped my shirt off and took it and they've still got it in Auckland Central Police Station as evidence. I'm holding it there as evidence that they <coughs> created treason against the King surrogate in Britain, UK, Parliament and Government and Westminster Magistrate Court. You've got a bounty in your head, the whole lot of you. You liable, the whole police force, Natalie Flower Dew Brown, I warned you here, I warned you here, I made videos, I've got a site on Facebook just for you, and I've got a site on Facebook just for you too, John Key, and Sean Elias, Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, she's on there, on your documents as well, wanted. Got a trillion pounds on her head. I'm going to write the pound note, we have the right, to print money over your head and over all the fraud in this country. We're taking at, taking and we are salvaging Cook Street, 77 Cook Street, because I've been on that case since 2008 with Moi Manukau. He wanted his land back. He wanted his land back. I'm getting his land back because it's a Manukau title in Edinburgh that you can't prove where you got your authority from to be on the Manago land here, Moriori. Okay, I'll make myself clear on this video because I'm fit and well to take on anyone in your government. In Wellington and the Crown Corporation and Donald Trump, he's in the racket as well. Don't try and forge your way, Donald Trump. Don't forge your way into that Philippines where you've hidden the gold from 9-11. It's sitting over there. Mohi and Moai is up there watching me, telling me where things are. So, we have all that above watching you mischievous people, pirates and thugs. You're all in the same boat. Hillary Clinton, you, the same vein of Scottish, Irish and French and Roman Catholics racketing in America on behalf of the Queen, the fraudulent Rothschild banks, the family themselves have got a 970 million trillion trillion pound note, a single pound note on their heads and all they have taken illegally from this flag and have corrupted the law in Westminster and this country in New Zealand and all the Commonwealth countries in the world from this native court title. There's no such thing as Maori. There's no such thing as Iwi tribes. It was invented by the white man in the Queen Elizabeth, Queen Victoria Crown Corporations. Private trust. Their own private interest. John Key, you can't hide in Australia because the sheriff is coming to get you. He's going to lock you up and take all your property outright because this flag can do that. It is a power of its own creation and it's for you to defend yourself. If you don't turn up in this court on that day, I'm making this public, if you don't turn up in the Ungawaka, the Ungawaka Marae in Epsom, corner of Clyde Street and Manukau Road. That's where I've always held the hui's for these documents, all these books. Your name's in here. In these documents, signed, and all your parliament is in here. It's signed, signed, here, at Waitangi. 
All these books have been signed and countersigned from this Marae in Nuwaka Marae and taken up to Kiti Marae in front of the chiefs up there and they've signed it and countersigned it. All in here. Everything. And there's your parliament in there. Your face is in there, John Key. Your government is in here for committing fraud and now you're setting up stealing this flag, the eight point star, and trying to make Prince William the king. King of what? You can't have a king of Britain UK because Ernest Augustus the fifth is the king of Britain UK that we have petitioned him into Westminster from our meeting and a 21 gun salute on Titi Marae on 6th of February 2017 this year. We're sworn it in a magistrate navy court, native court. <coughs> the Marae Crown Native Grand Jury Magistrate Court passed the laws there to nominate King Ernest Augustus the fifth. He is already the reigning monarch of Britain, UK, Hanover, and New Zealand, Pacific Islands, period, and the Commonwealth countries of the world, because we put him there. We have the right, the first right of contract. We have the contract in this flag as receipt of a two-way contract party partnership with the ship of Admiralty of King William IV, King William III and St. Patrick's Eight Point Star Ground Rent Collection Agency and fines and administrative costs through municipality, which is the Eight Point Star on our flag in the four corners of the earth, north, east, south, west and the blue admiralty of the sea and the blue sky claim the whole lot. That's our private commercial contract. I'm telling you, John Key, you're mischievous and your abhorrent behaviour to try and put a fern flag over this country and steal the Maui statue in the, the games in Cardiff with the All Blacks, trying to make the All Blacks to make yourself the king here. No, we're going to catch you. You're on the stand and we're going to lock you up and the queen because I'm, by the time I get there, that's why she won't abdicate to Prince Charles or Prince William because they have no status when we've got this flag in front of us. He can't claim he's not a King William of Dutch origins. This flag is Zealand Dutch our partner. You can't go near our contract as a third party. And John Key, you set this up with Jerry Mataparai, your Maori Governor General, now your ambassador to